guys and girls, I'm Al from Games Rep, and today we're going to review a very special game that I'm sure most of you have played. If you haven't played, I'll be pretty damn gobsmacked. It's Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Mega Drive. Now, this is obviously it was originally an arcade game um, until it came to home consoles in the early early 90s, I believe. Anyway, let's have a look at this. It is a very hard game, but then. If games weren't a challenge, would we not play them? Who knows? Let's take a look. So this is an absolute classic. This is Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Mega Drive. Now this is actually available across many, many different platforms and originally it was an arcade game. Yep, yeah, arcade game started in Japan and it was called The Great Demon World Village. Yeah, now, well, in Japan it was called Daimaka Imura, which apparently means Great Demon World Village. Now, I'm not very good at Japanese, so let's face it, that's probably not how it's actually pronounced. Anyway, so it's basically a side-scrolling action platform game uh, created by Capcom, those lovely people who make Resident Evil, because god damn it, the Resident Evil games are great. Um, yeah, obviously released in 1988, and then eventually... Now, let me just tell you this. Ghouls and Ghosts is actually a sequel. Now, I've not actually played the first one. The first one was called Ghosts and Goblins. Um, so this is the second in the series. So you play a little knight called Arthur. Yeah, Arthur, who must advance through the eerie levels and defeat a number of undead and demonic creatures. Now, there are five levels here. And my god, from the get-go, this is a hard game. But you have to do these five levels twice. Why is that, you're asking? Now, that is basically because you get through the first five levels, you come back, you now have shiny armour, nice new shiny armour, and you have to have a special weapon to then finally defeat the last boss, if you can get that far, um, with your special weapon. And that is the only way you can actually get to it. Now, the penultimate boss is indeed Lucifer himself, the great devil in the sky, or in the European versions, you actually take on Loki. We all know Loki from the Avengers and everything like that, don't we? If you don't, you've probably never watched Avengers, have you? So like I was saying, this is a really, really hard game. From the get-go, it is a challenge. Now, be that from the bosses, which in all fairness aren't that hard once you know their weaknesses. It's more the hordes and hordes of the demonic beasts that just keep coming at you over and over again. Now, I've got to be honest here, this is not my favourite version. You would have thought it would have been being on a newer console, even though a Genesis or Mega Drive isn't really known as a new console nowadays. Something like the Amstrad. The Amstrad was where I first played this game. And I actually think, personally, I think I prefer the older version, the older looking versions anyway. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's maybe because the pace is slightly slower, so it actually makes the game a little bit easier. Because the crazy thing is, even though I'm... This game I'm actually playing on practice mode, which is the easiest mode on there. And it still is a bit of an ass kicking. There's special power-ups along the way though. You've got your lives, you get your different weapons, and your different ranking uh, types of armour. They obviously help you along the way. The best weapon I think is the one you can see right now, which looks like throwing daggers essentially. It's the best one there. Controls are really, really simple. Up, down, left, right jump and shoot and that's pretty much it to be honest there really is not a whole much to tell you about this game all you really have to do is just see exactly what is happening on the screen but it is an absolute corker of a game i would recommend it on many many different levels because it's just so damn good anyway i've been out from games rip hope you've enjoyed this like and subscribe any more games send me a little message see if i've got it and i'll review it for you i'll see you all soon Al Sony.